Hi guys, today we are going to learn about National Science Day. Recently, we celebrated National Science Day on the 28th of February. It was celebrated across the country. If you talk about National Science Day, it is celebrated on 28th of February, that is the birth anniversary of a great physicist, that is C.V. Raman. The contribution of C.V. Raman is immense not only for India but also for the world. C. V. Raman gave the concept of Raman effect that is the scattering of light. Now when you talk about when this day was designated, in 1986 the government of India designated, designated 28th of February as National Science Day. Since then we are celebrating this day. When you talk about Raman effect, this concept which was discovered by Dr. C. V. Raman, it gave uh, this concept uh, that is the Raman effect which was discovered by C. V. Raman which provided him the Nobel Prize in the physics. He was the first Asian to get award in the science. And this is the Raman effect that become the basis for the spectroscopy. Now, at the same time, in 1954, due to his contribution, the government of India gave him the Bharat Ratna in 1954. Or we can say that he was the first recipient of the Bharat Ratna in 1954. Now we are going to learn what is Raman effect. Raman effect talks about scattering of light by the molecules. Now we can learn two important points regarding the Raman effect that can be asked in the examination. The first is blue color of sky happens due to the scattering of light. The second is red color during sunset and sunrise is caused by scattering of light. So now, now you can remember these two points as, uh, and uh, it can be asked in the examination. Now we, we will move forward about, uh, we will now talk about what is Nobel Prize. It was established by Alfred Nobel and, and he was also the inventor of the dynamite. For the first time, this award was given in 901. Since then, it is given each and every year. But there was certain disruption during World War 2 and 1, 1 and 2. Otherwise, this award is given each and every year. Initially, this Nobel Prize was given for the five, in five categories. But in 1968, Nobel Prize in Economics was established by Swedish Central Bank, Severis Riksbank. Since then, Nobel Prize in Economics is given every, every year. When you talk about Nobel Peace Prize, it is presented in Norway and the rest of the awards is presented in Sweden. So that is the difference. Now, one can't nominate himself and herself for the Nobel Prize and in each categories maximum of three people can be given a prize. These are the important points. Rest of the information will be given in the next video. Thank you.